Hello everyone, I'm just, uh, it's just a quick um, video to show you how to uh, complete your um, mid-year review on FAR. You go into PLSS and then you pick FAR. It will show your program category. It will look a little different for you. It should just be, it shouldn't be a list here. It should be just your program. So um, let's say you for each RD. You go into a summary. And then you will be going into outturns. I have three centers here on the literacy, so I first need to go into the actual um, specific center. You will not have to do that. You will just uh, be able to go into outturns here. Okay. In outturns, that's where we update the um, projected uh, projections for the rest of the year. So what you can see here is number of beneficiaries that I have projected for the whole of 2020. What the system, uh, what, what is the requirement when um, FAR opens? is to update the number of beneficiaries for remainder of the year. So this cell will be open for you and this cell will be open for you. This part, it's not relevant to everyone. It's relevant to courses that might be rolling from before January 2020. So that part, for example, is relevant uh, for um, BTI. Okay, so what you'll be completing is this cell, but for most of you will be that cell. What you will see as well, the difference that you will see when you come into it on the 2nd of July is that this number and this number will be updated and that those will be the numbers that transfer from PLSS into four. So those would be actual number of beneficiaries that you have inputted on PLSS and then PLSS has transferred them onto four. This, this will obviously help you once it's up to date to complete your forecast for the rest of the year. When you complete those cells, then this number will also update. And I suppose the aim for all of us is that to keep the variance as low as possible, which means that the projections that we have done at the start of the year is not much different to um, the projection that we are doing now.